Hey YouTube, quick video here, going over uh, an equipment change I did from burner to CO2 tank, which I was going to do anyhow, but I did it sooner, and I'm going to go into why, and uh, what would you choose, and why I personally will never use the burner again. So what had happened, long story short, the burner was giving me incomplete combustion, it was not burning the propane cleanly, so what I was getting instead from the incomplete combustion was carbon and more importantly carbon monoxide which is a poisonous gas to both plants and animals so us and the plants not gonna like it uh, I, I was getting what I realized was what looked like calcium deficiencies on plants that were getting more than enough calcium if not any you know if not too much so I didn't want to push it any further I don't want to change anything else uh, you know to troubleshoot until I really found out what was going on I realized some of the plants were also getting stunted that were closest to the burner doing some research found out that it's actually fairly common of incomplete combustion causing carbon monoxide buildup as well as just the gas itself in the room causing stunted growth or what can, may look like you know deficiencies or high or low pH they give symptoms when there's no cause for the symptoms so I you know dug into that a little bit I was using propane this is obviously a little bit more of an inexpensive cheap heater which is why I was using it because I thought I'd be able to get the heat and the CO2 as a two for one uh, I thought maybe the larger more expensive you know like Titan burners would be better off because they can cost hundreds if not thousands of dollars. Uh, it turns out they have the issue as well. It doesn't seem to be as common from the research I was doing online, but there was a lot of anecdotal evidence and first-hand accounts of it also being an issue. Sometimes they just need to tighten things, but sometimes it's just you know the equipment being worn from all the use that we put them through. So to me, not worth it. I was going to switch to a tank anyhow, just wait till they were bigger, but this made me jump immediately to the tank, which is why I now have the 50-pound tank love it fantastic don't have to worry about it i mean i I'll, ne I'll never i'll never ever use a burner again not only just for ease when i was pricing it out mine this was actually more cost effective uh and i very rarely need the heat anyhow so i was like don't worry about it but so if you ever run into yourself where you're having what looks like you know ph imbalances nutrient deficiencies or excess and you can't figure out why check to see if you have a burner check to see if the burner's not burning completely you know if those in, in combustions or incomplete combustions you know giving you what may look like coal on the surface because that's what it creates or you know unless you have a monitor to uh, you know near your unit to see if there is carbon monoxide in the air which if I ever ran one again I would hands down definitely have one anyone that has one I would highly recommend that just because it is a poisonous gas I'm sure commercial facilities you know need it for safety reasons uh, but you know the average person does not uh, so that's it. Just wanted to go over that with you guys. Why I switched sooner than anticipated to a CO2 tank and why I personally will probably never use a burner ever again. You know, propane uh, or butane. I tried doing a butane propane mix. Didn't seem to cause the issues or doesn't seem to uh, resolve the issue. When I switched to this, within a day or two, I stopped seeing it progress and it never happened again. Growth picked back up, even on the smaller one no issues so I mean I changed no other variables so process of elimination that being the only thing that I changed and it eliminated the problem done I had to didn't have to do step two three four didn't have to go any farther didn't have to do any further troubleshooting changed one thing and it worked so if you guys ever having this issue before or if uh, you think you might be having it or you know, just your thoughts on it you know drop a comment let me know curious to find out more about it maybe maybe you love propane burners you know, maybe you completely disagree with me. Let me know. Let me know why. Maybe, you know, how do you handle it to ensure this kind of thing doesn't happen to you? Uh, other than that, that was it. Just a quick video update. Let you guys know my thoughts and a little research that I did. I thought it would be helpful and useful to others to maybe avoid having the same issue. Or maybe be able to diagnose an issue that they may have, you know, currently or coming up. Other than that, peace out YouTube. Happy growing.